Hey everybody, Andy's Free Guitar Chart Videos here. I welcome anyone who's interested in learning the guitar in the cage system and um, pentatonic scales, inversions, um, arpeggios, and uh, diatonic scales too. And this is chart number... 111 I just named it the EDC fret unwarp tuning warp that's kind of uh, you know double talk the unwarped tuning warp what we've done here or what I've done here is uh, made a chart and it's the kind of thing where I don't know what to do with it um, except to explain it Getting you up to speed kind of gets me up to speed. So, up top here, we have a normal guitar fretboard. Now, it doesn't look like a normal guitar fretboard. It kind of looks like an abnormal guitar fretboard because it's got these colors on it. But, as you can see from down here, the, the notes are what they are whether the top two strings are warped or not so up here this this light green note and the reason why it's light green on the display is because I usually want to put a number on it okay so I found dark green I, I have some dark green notes here got one right here dark green um, it's just an older uh, inlay inlay design and um, so that's what I have on the on my guitar starting here with the light green okay so this is the normal guitar fretboard you know a, a piece of it I've got about an octave which goes up to here this green to up to here is where that note is and then we have the F Okay, this right here, I thought it would really help me. It's interesting. I don't like to do this, but there's the patterns. The S2L and the S. It says S3S, but that was when I used to call it an S3S. It's actually an S3L now. Oh, so we've, we've kind of broken into that subject. And I'd like to show you down here. It's like a little key. So you have these groups of notes, and this is how I first started playing gu uh, guitar. Put, no, that's not how I first started playing guitar. I first started playing guitar like this, with an E minor. And on my guitar, it would be a C minor. That's how I first started playing guitar. Um, first started the pentatonic scales and uh, so I'll use this capo the C shape and all that stuff is a little difficult so we start with the D shape that would be this guy the D shape is just in the key of C you got C D E F G A B C right so you got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Wow, I really messed that up. Okay, let's do it this way. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. See, I even like, you know, I've got a fingernail here that is kind of saying, don't use me, I am hurt, I was washing dishes all weekend, so... Wow, yeah, that, that fingernail is hurt. I should get a little band-aid on that. But you know, remember I complain about my long fingernail that I can't play my, my D shape on? <laughs> now that's gone. 
So, uh, that's the, this is the first real shape that I ever started to recognize on the guitar. And I call it a stack of three short. Okay, because it's being compared to a stack of two long. Here's a stack of two long. This is the other shape that I realized existed. Now, ignore the four and the seven for a minute. So, I can do that down here on my guitar with D. It doesn't matter where you do this shape. It could be here or here. But it does matter where you do it if you get into the tuning of the top two strings. Okay? And as we learned last time, actually with the capo um, that for the key of E, for the E-tuned guitar. As we learned last time, this uh, particular tuning, um, if you wanted to, you know, most people just go, I don't know what these are, it just has to sound like this, right? But this is actually a pentatonic scale in the key of G. So if you wanted to, if you want to play a nice little chord while you're tuning your guitar, just play a G. Because these notes are the pentatonic notes of the key of G. Now why is that? Okay, this is the best I can do on this chart for the key of G. This is the, uh, oh, by the way, this is unwarped. Uh, we want to be looking up here. Now you notice that we don't have the E's lined up here because I've done all P4's tuning in this. And this is the, the crux of the, of the chart when we get to end the lesson. So let's look at right here. This is your G. Okay. And we have that. We have that in the, uh, over here in this guy. Right here. Okay, we have that right here. So this is the key to the inlays. We got a regular old piano. I'll mess this up, right? C, D, E, F, G is, is red. So the key of G, when we do a G uh, triad, it's G, B, and D. So we have a B there. Now, when you tune your guitar, what are the notes that you're doing when you tune your guitar? Are you tuning it to a C chord? What's the pentatonic scale for a C chord? C, D, E, G, A. Okay, and then up to C again. What if we go backwards and go back down that pentatonic scale? What does it spell? C, A, G, E, D. Caged. It spells caged. So that's what it is. There it is. <laughs> There's caged. Only this is a uh, you know kind of going down into the no no play no string no play zone here. This is where these patterns kind of go under the fretboard, lower than the lowest string. So you see part of an S three S there. And you see part of an S3L there, and that kind of thing. But there's there's cage it's spelled backwards. Here's cage spelled backwards. C D E G A C. Okay. Okay. So the question was, when you're tuning your guitar, do these notes mean anything? Do they mean anything? Or is it just a sound we kind of have to get past that? <laughs>